The Future of Flare discussion continues with Rick Barcode. From what I understand, um, the entire Flare community wishes to see the sport grow to the same point as um, extreme sports, skateboarding, snowboarding, etc. Um, my personal fear with that is our biggest stumbling block is the fact that we deal with alcohol. Sure. For example, ESPN, I found out, is owned by Disney, therefore they would never yeah. promote our sport. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> do you foresee our sport achieving those levels and achieving that status? Okay. Or, or do you think the fact that we do deal with alcohol, which separates us from every other sport in the world, well, um, do, you, do you see that as a stumbling block? First of all, I want, I want to touch on the fact that, that you're calling it a sport and you've got First of all, there's room for all sorts of okay, opinions. Okay, all right, before, before you address that, okay. okay. Um, I, I had um, a conversation with my sister once, and we, we, we tried to I never touched your sister. I Neither did I. <laughs> and if I did, I really didn't mean to. Okay. Yeah. I was very drunk. Finds a sport is um, if enough if enough and if enough people want to watch it, it's a sport. If no one wanted to watch golf, it wouldn't be a sport. If enough people, it, you, you don't agree with that, by the way, it's crunching face. Well, I'm listening to see if you're gonna well, say, exactly say more or make me agree with right, you. The defining factor of what is a sport and what is not a sport is the amount of spectator interest. Do you agree with that, first of all? No. You don't agree with that? No. I think the bottom line is that, and uh, we see, first of all, there's, I think there's all ways to look at it. And I think that, number one, first and foremost, is it's a business. It's a way to, it's a way to make a living. It's but, but, but competition, I mean, I'm not exactly. about like competitions, totally. is it a sport? Well, see, that's, that's a really interesting point. And I think that, that some competitions really are or have been certainly more of a sport because they f have forgotten about the business. That that scares me. That frightens me because I, th I think about the big picture. I want. I love being able to be a flare bartender. I love. I'm proud of that. I love being able to think I'm a full package bartender and I can do all these different things and make my customer happy. It. I, I always hate it when somebody says, "Well, you're a bartender, but you, you flip. You're, you're just a circus act. That's all you do. You're not a real bartender." And the fact is, it's not true. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, surfing, one of my major sports that I like to do. Um, as well as golf. A, a little bit of golfing. A little bit of golfing. Put the golf <laughs> Excellent <laughs> golfing. Um, surfing, um, <clears throat> many years ago, there was uh, what was considered a good surfing is power surfing. Bottom turns, top turns, very powerful using the entire wave. And, uh, and that was what was judged probably in competition, all sorts of worldwide competitions. Now what happened is there was a skateboard movement. And a lot of the skateboarders came in with all these little skateboard tricks and they're doing them on the waves because it was progressing. Very similar to what's happening with, with our business, our sport. And what happened is originally the old guard looked at that and went, that's not real surfing. You can't even use a whole wave. You're doing all those tricks, but it looks great for a picture, but you're not landing it, you're wasting the wave, it's just, you're not a real surfer. But what happened is someone finally came along, Kelly Slater, and he could do both. And he transcended everything and he bridged the gap and he was the full package surfer and everybody went, oh my God.